Schultz back for Laval again. Laval cranked up against the boards by Reed Scahill. Schultz trying to take it down low, leaves it there. Up to the point, Aldefer, Aldefer, center point, fires, they score. Aldefer let it go through traffic. And with 12.1 seconds remaining in the first, Janesville finds themselves up 1-0. Knocked down by Hutton coming back. Uh-oh, Kaufman fell down. And into the zone with numbers come the Jets at the left circle. A centering pass, and it ended up being a shot. Blankenberg the save, and the rebound ends up behind him. Adam Winborg. With his 13th of the season, so much for Zach Laval tying himself for the lead in goals. And it's 2 to nothing Jets with 14-39 remaining here in the third period. Betis will send it in and chase in after it. Jerusic out to play it, gets it past Aluya, and now, now here's a four on two for the Janesville Jets. Winborg leads it in, flips it across. Fed to the front of the net, and they score. Now I heard a whistle go, and I have not seen a signal yet from the official. The Jets are celebrating, and I still have not seen an official a, a signal from any of the officials. It's Blankenberg claiming he had the puck covered up. And now finally there it is. So it's 3-0 Jets with 11.33 left in the third period. I have no idea who's going to get credit for the goal. Thrown ahead. Zach Yoder back at center will crank a long one in on Blankenberg who kicks it to the side, and this game is in the books. 3-0 shutout win for the Janesville Jets, the first shutout of the year for Matt Jerusic. And a third period that was dominated by Janesville. They get a couple and overall win it 3-0. Lavelle, Winborg, and Fossier with the goals.